Um, in this video, I'll show you how I created a gauge UI for Vue's 1.5 inch AMOLED display using Figma, EEZ Studio, and LVGL. This board comes with push buttons and a rotary knob, making it easy to create interactive projects. It also includes touch functionality. Uh, Vue also sent some great boards. I'll be creating some exciting projects with them soon. You can find all the board details on the official webpage. Check the GitHub for documentation and sample projects. I used a sample project to create the LVGL template. If you'd like to see these boards integrated with Home Assistant, support me. Open Easy Studio and set the width and height for the View 1.5 inch display to 466 times 466 pixels. Then create an arc and set its background start and end angles. In LVGL, 0 degrees is positioned at 3 o'clock, so adjust the arc angles accordingly. I created a cheat sheet to easily find the correct angle. For the arc, style the main part and the indicator part. The knob isn't needed, so I set its opacity to zero. I plan to add a divider line for every 10 units. I set the value to 10, adjusted the zoom level to 100%, and took a screenshot. Later, I noticed that the arc doesn't need rounded edges, so I styled the main and indicator parts accordingly. Open Figma, create a frame, set its width and height to match the display, and adjust the corner radius. Then place the screenshot inside the frame and adjust its position. Create a one pixel rectangle to find the center of the frame. Then draw a line from the center to the starting point of the arc. Uh, to find the sweep angle of the arc, um, I use the start and end angles to calculate it. Then I divide the sweep angle by the number of divisions. For this, I need 10 divider lines, each rotated by 10 degrees. Select the line, then press Option R on Mac or Alt R on Windows and adjust the pivot point. The new feature is convenient for precisely rotating elements around a pivot point. To duplicate and rotate an element, select it, press Command-D on Mac or Control-D on Windows to set the rotation angle, and then continue pressing Command-D's Control-D to duplicate the element at the same rotation. Then, using the ellipse tool, I created a simple arc uh, with divider lines to test in EEZ Studio. Duplicate the ellipse and divider lines, then select the divider line group, unite them, and flatten to create a single shape. Select both shapes again, press M on the keyboard to activate the Shape Builder tool, then hold Alt and click to remove unwanted areas. I need two styles for the arc, one for the main part and one for the indicator part. I duplicated the ellipse and applied different styles to each. Then group each styled element and rename them properly. This helps when importing into EEZ Studio. Finally, export each group as a PNG image. In EEZ Studio, open the bitmap panel and add the exported images. Select multiple images at once, set the format to True Color Alpha, and press OK. Then select the arc, 
choose the main and indicator parts and assign the corresponding images to each. Adjusting the minimum and maximum range values changes how the arc updates, creating different visual effects. I created another arc and applied a different style to experiment with various approaches. Using the Lamborghini gauge as a reference, I tried to recreate it. The steps are the same, so I'm fast forwarding through the UI process. Once everything looks good, export the static elements and dynamic elements separately. To find the needle's X, Y, and pivot point values, open the exported PNG file in Figma and align it to the frame. Once it's aligned, check the X and Y values, which are measured from the top left corner of the frame. For the pivot point, draw a rectangle from the center to the top left corner 
and check its width and height. In Easy Studio, import the image Adjust its position and pivot point and verify that it rotates perfectly as expected. Um, for the gear indicator, I placed all the labels inside a container and used a flex layout. Uh, for the current gear, I used the LVGL checked state and triggered it based on specific conditions. Once everything looks good, build the UI. I created a new repository for LVGL templates. It includes all the necessary libraries and board setup files, making it easier to start new projects quickly. Download the template files and replace the UI folder with the one exported from EEZ Studio. Open the folder in VS Code, make sure Platform.io is installed, then select the correct port, build, and upload the project. The UI is ready. Then I added some mock data to test if the UI was working properly. If you enjoyed this video, consider supporting.